Hey guys, I went to see Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. <laughs> Fam. Blockbuster. Enga sukum pansi guys. Yo. Adi. I was never ready. Talk about sheer spectacle at its best. What a blast. So after facing off in Kong vs. Godzilla, Kong and Godzilla now face a new threat from the depths of the planet in Hollow Earth. They'll need to come together to fight said threat for their own survival and the survival of humankind. I haven't seen a disaster movie in a while, but I do remember watching one of the Godzilla movies. Listen, there have been so many. Can't remember which one. Definitely not the one before this one. Anyway, I remember watching and just going, mm, meh. Wasn't impressed at all. So coming into this, I wasn't expecting much, which is why I was so pleasantly surprised by how fun and entertaining and funny and thrilling this movie was. Listen, epic disaster movie with giant apes and lizards and oh giant moths Ooh, hate moths this is the latest installment of the monsterverse yo is that a thing i know that was a thing did you know that was a thing look i don't mind telling you that the story is completely outlandish but i had no trouble suspending my disbelief i was like it's crazy but I'm into it. Let's go. And as the movie progressed, they revealed another layer to this insane story. And I was like, oh, okay. Go on. Listen, I was completely engrossed and engaged. I thought the characters were fun, albeit on the two-dimensional side. But look, this is not a Christopher Nolan movie. It's not that deep. It ain't that kind of party. However, my gripe is that they insisted on continuing with the token black guy trope. And the guy was there to provide comic relief. I was like, really? We're still doing this in the year of our Lord 2024. Okay. But fam, can we talk about the visuals and special effects? I mean, what? Opening scene. I knew that the visuals for this movie were going to be ridiculous. The CGI was insane. The creatures they created were a marvel, honestly. So monstrous but lifelike and emotional. I'm talking specifically about Kong. And then the fight sequences. Eh, eh, eh. Kong. And the, 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 the other ape and the lizard and just what? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. <laughs> it was spectacular. Oh, word to the wise, it is violent and gross. Like there were parts of the movie where I was like, okay, I did not need to see that. That was disgusting. Yeah. But listen. SFX, visuals, top-notch. And the cast, some of the cast members from Kong vs. Godzilla are also in this movie, like Rebecca Hall and Brian Tyree Henry. Even as the token black guy who was there to provide comic relief, he did a good job. He was funny. A welcome addition to the cast is none other than Dan Stevens. If you remember, he was our beloved Matthew Crawley from Downton Abbey. And he plays Trapper, vet to the Titans, or giant animals. And he was gloriously cheesy in this movie. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed his performance. This one is a jog to your nearest cinema. Look, it is pure spectacle and entertainment. A good scorp skit and donor of the monsters, if you will. <laughs> Just a good time in the cinema. So guys, do go and see Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire.